initial public offering was the first time a stock is offered for sale to the general population. Now, as the firm taking the company public, we set the initial sales price and sold those shares right back to our friends. The look, <laughs> I know you're not following what I'm saying anyway, right? That's, that's okay, that doesn't matter. The real question is this, was all this legal? Absolutely fucking not. Of course. We were making more money than we knew what to do with it. Greetings, greetings. This is former trustee Edward Steve. This is a quick interview. Okay, okay. There was a lot of things done at the last board meeting, but I wanted to interview trustee Keanu Belcher yeah. because you really couldn't hear the interaction the back and forth so I want to hear her from her voice yeah. from we her wouldn't know her. about the stealing what the houses and why, Steve why how so, how's Tiffany Belcher, stealing these houses about Steve that interaction. What, what made you tip over or made you what, what we want to know about movies, stealing houses. houses but talk about that and it's sad because you guys ran on my ticket both of y'all trustee Belcher and trustee House. Man, beep your ticket, girls. That's right, check Lacey. Don't tell me nothing, you fake chief. Look at Stan Brown. I was just riding the bike. Stan Brown is the one to the left in the blue shirt. In the meeting. It becomes bothersome. And it becomes to a point where you just know that I'm going to have to set this person straight because if they keep poking the bear, they think it's okay. And but how was she stealing the houses? That's what we want to know, Kiana. We know they're stealing all the properties there. We just want to know how. Keep going on your question. Are you going to answer? Keep going on okay. your question because that got so, nothing to do with the bills. So that, that's, 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 that's grant money, money that was already bought. Okay, so everybody would know that that's the answer because it's not being answered. Did you get the six point eight million dollars? Like that's a valid question. You want people to call your phone, ask you questions. Your residents come. You won't answer anything. Did you get the six point eight million dollars? No answer. So when you go in to say we're not doing nothing and you know we're trying to stop everything, that's not the case. I um, really believe since we haven't had financial since September that the money been spent before we got it. So it's putting us in a really bad spot. So she said she goes. All right, so they cannot keep voting on things where they don't see the bank account. They haven't seen the bank account since September of last year. So they don't know what they're dealing with. So every time Slick Tiffany and Thief Freeman come in and say, hey, just vote on the bill. It's on the warrant list. Everything on the warrant list is suspect. Everything. Because they keep putting in fake bills that they've already stolen the money. They keep putting in these fake bills, but the trustees don't know what the bank accounts say. <laughs> they know they've been stealing houses, so they can't really vote on anything except lights, sewage, water, you know, things that people need. That's all they can vote on. They can't vote on anything else in payroll. As long as it's not like an abundance of fake payrolls because they caught all of that too. There's so much behind the scenes stuff. When it comes out, oh my goodness, they are going to slaughter Tiffany Hinyard. She, but, you know, you, you can put in the comments. I don't think she thinks she's going to jail. Tiffany Hinyard? does not think she's going to jail. And if you think she's got a fighting chance, put it in the comments. 
I'd love to talk to someone in the comments. But we're going to keep going with this. Let, let Kiana explain it. Post with the videos. And we're, the trustees are not doing anything. It should have, I can probably have the room. I probably have impacted them one way or another. But I don't have to walk around with a video saying, say, I did this for somebody. I did that. And especially when What's there's different talking? things What's that talking? you may have helped somebody with. It doesn't mean that you have to Keith. gloat because you're helping people. It's say like something, Keith. People. So, um... It was a it was a, a really a frustration of you don't have to answer to me you got to answer to the residents you ain't got to answer to me answer to the residents where is the money is the money comes and, well you got to um, answer to the damn feds she start, I mean, <laughs> the I feds it was, it was so intense you kind of get wrapped up in the moment and so at first I felt like like mate you know she pushed me too far and I felt unprofessional but at the same time I felt like I needed to express how I felt at that time. So when she went, oh, uh, I can't even re recall she, she how it started. It. <laughs> yeah, how it really started. But she said, yeah. Tiffany. Tiffany. You ever thought about just running? You know, you ever laid in the bed and said, baby, Keith, <laughs> let's just pack some bags and go to Bora Bora. Let's just go to an island and leave. Tiffany Hinyard, super mayor, have you ever, I mean, because you run with criminals, right? You know we think about stuff like that. Yeah, I'm just going to break camp. I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to run. Because that's basically what you've been doing by not answering nothing. So you need to take it like a thousand percent. Just run. Leave. I, I will not be surprised. No one will. Oh, she's missing. Oh, they went and tried to pick her up at her new house where she moved to. And she's not there. She's not hiding at all these houses that we know. She's just gone. Tiffany, you think about running? They're going to chase you to the end of the earth. I'm, I'm sorry. But let's continue. <laughs> I don't do nothing. Y'all, you know, all of this. And it was just too much. And I, and I said... I know what I haven't done. I haven't come in with no money. I ain't stole no money, and I'm not going to jail. And it's it was the elephant in the room because everybody, these federal and um, subpoenas coming from the township, coming to the village of Dalton. Um, now it's one that's even criminal. So yeah, I mean it was a shot, but I took it because I don't have those are things that I don't feel like I have to worry. And it's really sad that we're at a place where it's. This person has did a lot of wrongdoing, allegedly, <laughs> and I had to speak my piece about it. Yeah, because it's... Tiffany. Tiffany, have you ever seen the videos where the cops are whooping your... And they're screaming, stop resisting! Stop resisting! And you're like, I'm not resisting. Y'all don't beat the wig off me. But have you ever seen those videos? T Tiffany. No. No, you know what? Keith know what I'm talking about. <laughs> he, he know what I'm talking about. Stop resisting! Yo, look, yo. <laughs> you have no idea. And what, how, how she gets it going by, you ran on my ticket, and you you supposed to support my vision. Yeah. And you said, I didn't support. I, right, that was definitely, she said, because she always throws that up. Um, this was this. Uh, you ran on my ticket. The vision was trans. Right, the vision was transparency, accountability. It wasn't for the FBI to come. It wasn't for you to steal the money. It wasn't. That, that's what I said. And of course, sometimes those uh, words hit hard. But they hit hard because that's what I meant. Yeah. That's not what I signed up for. I signed up to be accountable to the residents. I signed up that we would do things. Our goal was to do things and change things and make it better. And that's not what's, what's happening right now. And I think people got to be mindful that y'all still haven't had the financial report since September, September of 2023. That is absolutely correct. So Jesus. even if we say at that time a $7 million deficit, we have absolutely no idea what the deficit is, right? Okay, not ideal. Idea. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, Miss Keon, I, I, I got to say it. Not ideal. Idea. You know, with the A at the end. But, um, yeah, I, I 
the uh, some of the other YouTubers. I gotta say, in Illinois, education like what's going on with the school systems there? But um, yeah, we'll continue. Ugh. This is painful. Nah. So when we are actually going off the warrant list, we're kind of going blindly on just paying bills that we know are necessary things that need to be taken care of. Yeah. So I think that was critical because that, that um, I'll talk about also that I won't trust you to buy penny candy. <laughs> Agenda is a motion to approve uh, the purchase of five uh, residential properties, one commercial property from the Cook County Land Bank. Is there a motion? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Is there a motion and second? Any discussion? Yes. Okay. We wouldn't trust you to buy penny candy. You think we're about to let you buy properties? Ouch. Yeah, that's you pick your vote, choose what you want. This is Wait, again. The penalty problem is not in the real estate business. We're not buying no property. Okay, so why y'all motion and second? Y'all motion and second. That's we don't want a discussion because we want the people to know. Okay, so let me tell y'all what just happened. The reason why they motioned like they were going to agree on the bill. But that's the only way you can have a discussion. Meaning people, the trustees can say what they want to say. So they motion and they motion for a second. I'm sure her wig, Tiffany Henry's wig was standing up on her back like, Oh, they're actually going to vote on this and say okay. But it was, they, they was going to kill it. But they, ha with the way the rules go, I guess, is they have to motion and then somebody has to second it for it to be a discussion. And the discussion was, we're not about to let you continue to rob the town. We're not about to continue to let you to keep stealing houses. Because in city government, any city doesn't matter where you're at. Y'all know how there'll be some abandoned, boarded up house. People done left it. Like, nah, we ain't dealing with that. The taxes is too much. Or it was just some lonely person that died. The municipality or the cities, they take over the house, but they have control over. Who's going to get the house if somebody buys it, right? So if somebody buys the house, supposedly, allegedly, all you gotta say is they bought it for fucking three grand in cash. Cash is no receipt. There's no track record. Who bought the house? Whose account did it come out of? No, they bought it in cash. So if they've done it 60 times, the houses were stolen. Sound familiar? Kamal Woods. Allegedly bought a house for eighty thousand dollars in cash. Y'all remember the property they keep talking about? He bought it for eighty grand in cash. There's no receipts. It's cash. Sold it for two hundred thousand dollars. Two hundred thousand dollars is on the books. But he bought it in cash. That's how you steal the houses. You just say. Oh, this person bought it in cash. That person bought it in cash. There's no record of it. There's no uh, receipt. It's just a word of someone who claims they bought the house in cash. So it makes the federal government have to dig deeper. Okay, so you're saying you bought this house in cash. Now we got to dig into your finances. But do you know if they stole 80 houses, that means there's 80 recipients where they have to say, okay, you was on welfare last year, but you just bought this house for $20,000 in cash. These are the investigations that they have to do. So this might be a little longer than we think as far as, you know, them doing the big federal sweep and all of that because they got to do some more digging depending on who doesn't flip. Who doesn't just jump right up like, look, they gave me this damn house. <laughs> I ain't buy nothing. I ain't paid nothing. They gave it to me. 
But how many people? You got to wait to see who's going to keep flipping on them. And people have been flipping on her constantly. The feds have what they need to already indict her. But they have to get much more because they're going to make this indictment spectacular. Trust me. Okay, let's continue. Finish her. Why I make that statement? You explained it, but can you explain it when it's, you know. Did y'all hear the other trustee? I second that motion. <laughs> Just before they shut it down, she's like, yeah, I second that motion. And Justin House, he's not a messy dude. So the only reason he didn't say nothing, because he would have said, yeah, and I third that motion. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but hey, you know, he couldn't do it. But you got to read between the lines. You got to connect the dots. D O. T T, I I don't even like spelling it that way because we know the guy's illiterate. Michael Smith, allegedly, right? Uh, D-O-T-T-S is definitely just not the way you spell it. But, um, yeah, you know, she's going to jail. But let's continue. Less emotion involved. Talk about why you voted in motion a second to even have a discussion. So, uh, one thing everybody knows is if we want to try to do something right, which a lot of times is not done, you want to follow the order. So, we, I wanted to explain to people why I, I motioned, and there was a motion in the second, and going into discussion, because sometimes um, we knew that her buying property with all the stuff going on was something that we really don't want for the village. But if we wouldn't have said nothing because Stan Brown didn't have a, Second, you know, he could have motioned in a second. It just would have failed. And then the uh, residents wouldn't have understood why it failed. Um, we're already saying we're in a deficit. Why would you bring to the board to buy property? Uh, it was four residential and one commercial property. It had no pricing with it. And we're not in a real estate business. That's not, I mean, we obtain properties through when people donate us to us or different but we're not in the business to go to buy property so when i met when uh trustee house made the motion i seconded it my discussion was that why would we trust you to buy any property you won't even tell us what's going on with the finances now why would you think that we would allow you to go and buy property and when i made the statement about the stealing of the houses because we have found a lot of inconsistency of properties that was owned by the village of Dawson that now people are buying. People, some we don't know where the money is if we even receive money. Some people say that property has been given to them. There's a lot of um, inconsistencies. Yeah, inconsistencies and rumor bill going on and things that's happening. Exactly. So, now, I'm trying to make progress and stopping progress. And she spins that narrative a lot, but that narrative is dying now. Absolutely. A lot of people are seeing through the lies. So, go ahead. Yeah, because uh, we're, we're May, this is May 20th, so we're in another whole fiscal year. And we haven't even seen a projected budget. We haven't seen the actuals for last year. So we're in a place where we're literally hoping that we're making decisions to pay for necessary things, but we have no clue of how much is actually being spent. I said. So, anything else before we, we close out? <laughs> no, I just wanted everybody to know I'm going to continue to stand up for the residents. I mean, this has nothing to do with anybody personally. This has something to do with, yep, the vision was to be accountable. The vision was to be transparent. The vision was to make Dalton better. And right now, I don't see that vision. Yeah, yeah. So, you know. The village of Dalton is not in the business of property. Y'all done already stay up our 60 houses, so ain't nobody going to deal with you buying no property. So, that's the end of my discussion. I second that motion. I second that motion. <laughs> why, why, why make that statement? You explained it, but could you explain it when, there less, when there's, you know, less emotion involved? Talk about why you voted in motion a second to even have a discussion. So, uh, one thing everybody knows is if we want to try to do something right, 
which a lot of times is not done. You want to follow the order. The Pay song. attention. I wanted to explain to people why I I motioned, and there was a motion in the second, and going into discussion because sometimes um, we knew that her buying property with all the stuff going on was something that we really don't want for the village. But if we wouldn't have said nothing because Stan Brown didn't have a second, you know, he could have motioned in a second, it just would have failed. And then the uh, residents wouldn't have understood why it failed. Um, we're already saying we're in a deficit. Why would you bring to the board to buy property? Uh, it was four residential and one commercial property. It had no pricing with it. And we're not in the real estate business. That's not, I mean, we obtain properties through when people donate us to us or different, but we're not in the business to go Are you to guys buy paying property. Attention? So when I met, when uh, Trustee House made the motion, I seconded it. My discussion was that, why would we trust you to buy any property? You won't even tell us what's going on with the finances now. They why don't would know you what think they that have. we would allow you to go and they buy don't know property what's in the when bank I account. made a statement about the stealing of the houses? Because we have found a lot of inconsistency of properties that was owned by the village of Dawson that now people are buying. People, some We don't know where the money is if we even receive money. Nope. Some people say that property has been given to them. There's a lot of... Um, like it's Tiffany's just, mama and cousins and, and friends. Things that's happening. So, no, we're not trusting you to spend any more of the village's money that is not accounted for that we need on a consistent basis, such as insurance, lights, gas, and the necessities. No. All right. So, again, I think this is a, this is an interview, a quick interview with Trustee Keanu Belcher uh, in the fight for transparency with taxpayers' money. To imagine that they're hiding the, the spending, they're hiding the financial reality of where it is with debt and everything, and if it's not turn. Look, anybody who thinks that they are still in a seven million dollar deficit, and you live in Dalton, you're delusional. It's much higher than that. I don't know what else to say.